set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Ryan Suckup, the man tasked with getting this one started. And off we go from Sports Authority Field. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. now to throw on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And no, incomplete. Boy, they took a shot there on the first play, trying to start it out with a bang, but it's second down. One well, of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing, and on that one, they had to fly. Just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. On play action, Rivers. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Champ Bailey. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And incomplete to open things up. He was looking for Adam Thielen there. And that'll bring up second down. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not forced that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. Escaping the pressure right. And now running right through it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. to throw now on first down. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Janoris Jenkins. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to the hands of the wrong team. First carry now for Adrian Peterson. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. They run the counter now. It's Peterson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They had a great read there from his free safety position. And, Charles, you know with those guys, it's all about their eyes. They have to be laser focused. Yeah, I had to fake my way through it when I was playing. But now I can see exactly what they're doing. And on that play, he obviously had under pressure here. And down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Frank Clark in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Third down, it's Adrian Peterson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup there, and that's going to make it fourth down. 
This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. Really put them behind the eight ball. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to go out of bounds at the 30-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be. And he was like, and all the way home for the Broncos score. Greg Olson, 30 yards. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. The tight end can kind of be that diamond in the rough secret weapon that you have, and right there they show you why. And it's becoming less of a secret, isn't it, partner? Every game that we do nowadays, the tight end is a featured receiver, not just a blocker, as in the days of old. This fielded at the two. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. He trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Getting the sense Charles are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. They give it to Peterson. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth so far. Four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets them a new set of downs. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he's brought down. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Again, it's Cohen. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster. It all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. That good for 19 at a first down. They run. This is Cohen. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. 15 yards. And the Cowboys are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. And he's got it up and through. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. This will be taken in at the one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. Let's go! 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. You know, the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. That one goes for 36 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Janoris Jenkins. Accelerating, and off he goes. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Broncos' offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Denver right after this. On second down, Freeman. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. A gain of a yard gets them back where they started. Now it's third and 10. Now back to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence able to drop it for a loss of 12. And it'll be fourth down. They're going to try and throw. And this is going to be incomplete. What a real head scratcher.